All right, we're gonna check out this night wish the day of. Let's hop straight into it. A new virus has now been discovered. It's a new virus every day. Oh, what the? Hold on, cause she just she painted a stark uh dystopian picture of the world gripped by the fear of impending doom. So like the catastrophe um flood, the war, the AI threats and the social is like and societal collapse is reflecting on the overwhelming sense of the inevitability and despair, you know? So when she made that reference of the she said Grave New World 84, the pur the purgatory and um same old story, I think that ties in with the historical and literary illusion, you know? So I guess he's suggesting that, you know, these cycles of fear and destruction is not new, but rather a continuation, almost almost like a, a, a ritualistic part of human um, existence, if that makes sense, or I'm reaching. Hold on, hold on. Cause I, heard, she, she said we are too many for our mother. Crops will burn, so why bother? And I think that's a sense of ecological collapse and overpopulation, maybe. And I think she's basically hinting at the the the. She's hinting at the world's inability to basically sustain humanity any longer. But there's also a strong critique of, I guess, the way fear. It's kind of like manipulated and weaponized, whether through the media, you know, the the, the mind virus, the, the fear of the well-known and stuff like that.
said, obey, stay away, cover up. And I guess that's, that's like the theme of control and suppression, you know? And it's basically where people are urged to hide their true selves, their weapons, and even their joy. And that goes to, you know, the cripple dancing. But I'm not gonna lie, the, 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 the apocalyptic tone is, it's, it's like, it's more amplified by the idea of the never ending doom porn, if that makes sense. It's like a disturbing fascination with the disaster and the end of the world. We're talking about modern world preoccupation with fear. We're talking about the nature of the human self-destruction. I think this song speaks of an anxiety of living in a time where every disaster feels like the potential end. Or yet, the true crisis might be our own obsession with that fear, if that makes sense. But yeah, I'm gonna catch you guys in the next one. I don't, I don't, I don't have, no, I don't know what to say. Like, subscribe, comment.